Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am about to do a hair tutorial. Um, I just washed my hair, so it's deep conditioning right now. My hair has gotten so long. If y'all have been following me from day one, you have seen the transformation. It's crazy. It's almost down to the middle of my back. Like bra level, almost. Not quite, but almost. <laughs> So today I'm using, what is this, Equal? I'm gonna do a little bit of ombre effect from black to this silver looking hair. We'll see how this goes. Just trying to try something new. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do the first one. I'm gonna do half and then come back. So with these, these are um, crochet braids. These are just regular, the gray ones are crochet braids. I have to separate them. These are just regular um, Marley hair. So, probably should separate a couple of them first, but we'll see. I don't know how this ombre effect's gonna look, but I don't know what my fascination is with gray hair, but we're gonna make it work. All right, let me separate this and I'll be right back. All right, let's get it, let's get it. <clears throat> took out two in the back. It's out the way. I can't believe I have this much hair on my head. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I've done ombre once in high school with purple hair. And now to do it with black and gray, I'm excited. So I twist the bottom and then I go up and I twist the top. And then I just twist it while trying to put the lock in it, like secure the lock in it. So every now and then I'll go through and piece the lock in the middle of it so you don't see that brown because my hair's a little brown at the end I don't want to have all these colors going on I'm trying to conceal the lock in the middle. And sometimes if the root gets like really tight, like you see it twisting up in there, you can put um, the little duck clips here to hold the root. I'll probably do that when I get more towards the front. Now as I get to the end of my lock, I'm going to throw the gray on there. Twist that up in there. And then I'm going to cut the black. And I don't cut it straight, I cut it at an angle. So it doesn't look as blunt. And 
And we'll just keep twisting, twisting, twisting. Them to be like butt length, <laughs> so I'm probably just cut about right here, and then same thing, cut it at an angle so I could still twist it and have something to hold on to. And I'm gonna wear this super curly, so once it's in, I'm gonna braid it up and then dip it in hot water so it's kind of crinkly. I'm gonna keep going. Hey. Hey. I'll see when I'm like halfway through. I'll be back. Hey y'all, it has been a long day, just like this hair, super long. 
Um, I started this around 1 o'clock today and right now it's 9 o'clock p.m. So right at about 8, 9 hours. I took a couple breaks to eat, to do laundry, chore day. I have one last one left. So I just want to show you how I did it. So I take one strand and I split it in two. And the first strand does the top portion. The second strand does the bottom portion once my locks end. So I'm just take you through this last one. I started with the gray ombre and I wasn't feeling it. So I was like, let me just do all black. I haven't done all black hair oh, since last June. So it's been a while. So take the hair like this. I'm up close so at least y'all can see. Go right in the middle and then I twist one side around the hair and I kind of split it apart to conceal my lock in it. And that's a process as you go down the hair. And then I do the same thing with the other side, twist it around. <laughs> A little stick y'all and then open it put my lock in it and then twist it together from here and then as I go down I keep concealing my hair my lock inside the twist I remember first time I did this to my hair I used eight packs no, no, no. I use 11 packs. Now I use six. <laughs> so my head was definitely really heavy when I first did it, but now it's not. So I'm excited about that. So I literally just washed my hair this morning, put a leave-in conditioner in, and started twisting it. So by now my hair should be fully dry. And as you see, as I'm twisting it, I'm making sure I'm concealing my hair. My hair is brown at the bottom. And you'll see it throughout some of the hair, but I'm just trying my best to conceal the majority of it. that much left so now I'm gonna add the other one that I split again wrap that around try to conceal it even more <laughs> Especially when it comes to the end of lock, because they tend to want to poke out. So keep twisting, keep concealing. So one lock is covered, the other one is still going. As you can see it in there, just a little bit. both concealed up in there if I can't see it if you cannot take the tension on your root you could use one of those ducktail things let me see if I can. Um, I'll show you all in a minute and then from here I just twist and that is it. This is like my go-to style. I love my hair like this. I don't know why. Love it's easy. It's easy to put in, easy to take out. I like doing my hair super curly or crinkly, not necessarily straight. So I'll straighten it from time to I mean I'll curl it from time to time. 
I just wear it like this at first and then curl it when I feel like it, but it gives me beach vibes, you know? <laughs> so, go to style. I hope this is helpful to my sisters with locks. I feel like, oh, I have locks. What could I do with my hair? Girl, there's so much you could do <laughs> with your hair. Everybody was like, oh, Rochelle, don't get locks. What are you going to do with it? You change your hair so often. And I do. I do. I do colors. I do waxes. I do weaves. I do um, braids. I do twists. I do crochets. I do everything. Because, you know, my hair changes as I change. So, I just appreciate the fact that I save so much money doing my hair myself. Um, I don't have to pay anybody to do my hair for me. And when I get to the end, cut it at an angle. My lips are so dry. Alright, and then just all the way to the end. I'm turn this way so y'all can see it. your last one you're so excited it's like yes no more pulling on my scalp I could grease my scalp Come relax finally so this is a finished product twist it as far down as I could I am done so I look in the back super long so much I could do with this can lay the edges I'm ready now I'm just coming back but yeah this is it done done and then I greased my scalp with coconut oil and rosemary it's my favorite oil this combo so my scalp is not dry I dip the ends in hot water so they're not crazy looking and call it a night peace out all right so water is boiling so I'm gonna turn the fire off and figure out how to dip this do this so I knew I was done. 